Talk a little bit about putting, and uh, I mean, you're right now you're second on the tour in putting. Um, have you always been a good putter? I have, I have most of my life. I've never, uh, I've never hit the ball far, so I've always relied on my short game. Even you know, as a young kid in junior events, guys were out driving me 30 yards, and a lot of the par fours I couldn't reach um, when I was 12, 13 years old. So I had to chip and putt and get up and down for par. And, um, so I've, my short game's always been my strength. How do you remain calm over a big? pressure putt, something you need to do to get into like the FedEx finals or whatever, get into the tour championship to win a tournament. How do you keep calm? Well, I mean, you can keep calm. Everybody gets nervous. It's just being able to stick to your routine, you know, going through the process and not not really acting, acting as if one putt's any different than another one. Um, you know, you do go through your routine, do the best you can and pick your spot and, and, and hit a good putt is all, all you can really do. What can amateurs learn from just coming out here and watching all these pros? There's a lot of different methods out here, but what can they learn by watching these guys like yourself? Uh, as far as putting yeah, and as stuff? As far or? as stroking the ball, yeah. What's, um, what's something they could pick up? Uh, I think a big key is a lot of a lot of people move around and they, they lift up their upper body and move their head up before they finish their stroke. That's one other thing I work on is I try to hold my head still to the finish and kind of stick, call it stick my finish and uh, keep everything right here, my head down. And uh, I think a lot of guys hit and they want to look and see where the ball goes immediately. Mm -hmm. I think they don't, uh, they don't stay still and centered long enough. Have you always used a conventional style putter like the Bettinardi one here? I have most, most of my life really. Um, when I was real young, I kind of had the old bullseye putter. Yeah. But then, you know, kind of the ping answer look for a long time, that same style. I've toyed around with a, with a couple of mallets, but not it's never really been my thing. So, How long have you been using veterinary putters? Uh, it's been a few years. I've used that exact putter now for probably two and a half years straight um, and some, some other models uh, prior to that. So, But I've been, been sticking with this one for, for a while. So you're pretty attached to it. I've had say. three wins with that, that model there, so I'm, I'm still using it. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is it that you like so much about the putter? Uh, it looks great, looks great to my eyes. It's got a fantastic feel, and Bob and the whole Bettinardi team do such a great job with all their work, and uh, just feel confident with the Bettinardi putters on the greens. It's a big, big part of putting is being confident in what what equipment you're using. Bettinardi putters are a pretty coveted uh, putter for a lot of guys, and they hear that name, they know it's a special putter. What is it about the putters that are that make them stand out? I think the people who think about Bettinardi say that hey, this is a great product because it's made with technicians and engineers and craftsmen who are right here in Chicago and not somewhere 6,000 miles away. I think that is a very important key. Um, you, just, you just feel like you got something that's really nice in your hands. It's more expensive, but it's, it's the way it's made. And talk about the way that it is made, the way it is produced. Well, we have, uh, last count, I think I have 52 employees. And uh, we have uh, $350,000 CNC milling machines that are carving a uh, putter out of a block of steel. Um, there's all, all kinds of ways to make putters. You can cast them. You could um, forge them. You could do all kinds of stuff. And, uh, but the way we make them is, is, is one at a time. All the weight and the loft, the lie, the angles, everything about that putter is perfect. And when you take the putter in your hand and, you, and, and you're sitting there trying to make a, a putt or make that ball go into a four and a quarter inch hole, and to know in your mind that you have something precision, that's what it's all about. So you're looking right now, and then you've got a little three and a half, four footer. Yeah, I just like to work with, my, with the line on my ball and getting, getting square to that line. Cause on the I like what you said about staying still. I think that's... Every time I stay still, I feel like I can make anything. Yeah, my caddy really drills that into me about sticking my finish. Yeah. Not you watching it. Finish, you mean like this, my head still stays down? Yeah, like just stick it like that. <laughs> just keeps everything still, you know? Mm -hmm. Don't recall. Keeps it solid. You got an early tea time or late? Yeah, I'm early tomorrow. You like the Thursday early? Usually? Uh, you know, it doesn't really matter. When, I guess you just want it when the, hopefully get the good end of the weather, you know? Yeah. It's supposed to be nice tomorrow. 
really windy yesterday. Did you just come in last night or today? This morning. Day before, but it was so windy yesterday I didn't even.